Hey, good afternoon. This is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. Uh, today I want to show you how to create those columns. So I have a volunteer job. So this is a custom post type. So on the left hand screen here. So when you see it, so I got the volunteer job. So this is a jet engine post type. So I have volunteer job here. And I got a bunch of uh, 10 meta fields. And then here, so I got even like those um, taxonomy here as, as well. So it's kind of crazy here. And there's some of the information you want to display on the um, table here, right? So which uh, volunteer type and then what commitment. And uh, so I like to show you how to do that. And you can put a taxonomy or even like those meta field uh, as well. So I have, so I got to do uh, this application deadline, uh, which is important here. I like to see that on the table. So um, let's work on that. So once again, so this is post type. And then uh, down here you see admin columns. So I already have three created already. So these are three. So let me just uh, show you an inside here. So organization, organization category. So you can put the title here. So here, so I got post terms. So that's a taxonomy. And then so which taxonomy, so I could just quickly show that to you here. I think I have opened up the new tab uh, here. So you just copy this. I think that was it and then paste onto that. So that's it. So then you can, um, so it appears on the table here. And the column order, I think you can just put number, which is one, two, three, I think. So you can just order a number by putting a number here. Now let's just work on the application deadline. So let's go to open new. So I'm going to put the uh, application. Something like that. And in this case, I'm going to put the, so this is a meta value actually. So, and then which one? So I have a um, application deadline here. So I'm going to just put this uh, meta value here, copy that and then paste on two. Um, right here and the column order so it doesn't matter I think it's gonna go go at the very end I think so and then just uh, let's uh, save update here post so let's refresh all right here we go so you get the application deadline now it's kind of weird and it's not very recognizable those are just 10 digits number here so I know how to fix that so I think as a matter of fact I I think it's not really matterable. You have to probably uh, pick a custom callback. So this is a date. Uh, so here you select uh, from existing callback. You see the format date. So you can just click that, I think. And this is the format. And then set value. -cation. I think. So hit apply. Now let's just uh, hit update and then refresh here. All right, so as you see, uh, you see the um, date here. Now, I like to make it a sortable because um, it will be handy here. So let's uh, just check this on, see how it works. Uh, here, sort of by field, I think here you have to pick, uh, you have to add a application deadline. And then uh, update, and then refresh. Now you change the blue here. So let's see if I just uh... okay, starting March third, and then let's click once again, and then should, the latest should go on the top. All right, so that works. Now, next one is uh, they have like a filter as well. So this is kind of nice. So I think this is the filter like this. Uh, this is by default. So uh, with Jet Engine, it uh, looks like you can add a filter like that. Uh, let's play with this. So for example, I have, this is taxonomy. Uh, I have volunteer commitment, some ongoing, a short term, long term, for so forth. Um, let's try that. So add a new. And then uh, 
Yeah, so. And they use name as place uh, holder, um, I think. So we, I think which means something like that. Um, yeah, sure, why not? And then this is um, taxonomy. And then with taxonomy. Uh, oh yeah, volunteer commitment. So the first one. And show your hierarchical. Yeah, I think so. Uh, show counts. Okay, that's interesting. I'd like to see that, how it works. So let's hit update. And then. All right, so look at that. And oh, show the count. Oh, this is great. And then, so let's see if I want to see just short term. And then hit the filter. Uh, here we go. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think yeah, it works. No, this is great. Um, I like to play with tables like this. Um, uh, this is fantastic. So, and uh, apparently, so you can do other uh, taxonomy and then also looks like you can do uh, metadata as well. All right, so this is just a quick uh, tutorial. So hope this helps and I'll see you next time.